Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A fixed asset account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash within a year. A fixed asset is something of significant value that is necessary for the operation of your business, like vehicles, computers, furniture, and some office equipment. Many times, the purchase of a fixed asset will also incur a long-term liability, such as when acquiring an auto loan to buy a new vehicle. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value. Since they're useful for a long time, you don't completely charge their entire cost to the year in which you purchased them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, which is called the useful life of the asset. However, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete like computers, their value declines constantly from the day you purchase them. When the value of fixed assets decline over a period, the amount of value that is lost is called depreciation. The total amount of this decline over a time period is called accumulated depreciation. We will now examine one method for creating fixed asset accounts, noting their original value, and recording their accumulated depreciation. There are many ways to track fixed asset value and depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. This method works well to show the original cost, the accumulated depreciation, and the current book value for a single fixed asset on separate lines within the balance sheet for clarity of reporting. However, if you're currently tracking fixed assets and asset depreciation in other ways, you can rest assured you can continue using your own method. When you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you are referring to its book value. This is determined by subtracting its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred since the asset's original purchase date, from its original cost. Usually, you will want your company's balance sheet to show the original cost of an asset on one line, with the accumulated depreciation subtracted from the original cost on the second line, and the current or book value on a third line. The method that you will learn in this lesson allows you to see each asset's cost and its accumulated depreciation separately on your balance sheet. To do this, you need to create a primary fixed asset account for each asset, and then create two sub-accounts under each primary fixed asset account one for the original cost, and one for the accumulated depreciation. First, create a new primary fixed asset account for the fixed asset. Leave the balance or original cost field blank if purchasing the asset after your company files start date, as that value will be determined by the two sub-accounts, original cost and accumulated depreciation, you will create to track its book value. Next, create the two fixed asset subaccounts, one for the asset's original cost and one for the asset's accumulated depreciation. These two subaccounts should also be of the fixed asset account type. When creating a primary fixed asset account in QuickBooks Online Plus, you can simply select the Track Depreciation of this asset checkbox to automatically create these two subaccounts. Doing this will open up four more fields within the account page, the Original Cost and the As of Field Set, as well as the depreciation and as of field set. If creating a fixed asset account for assets purchased after you started your company file, you will leave these fields blank. They are only used to record asset values when initially creating a company file. If you choose to manually create these two accounts, ensure that you check the checkbox for Is Subaccount within the account window and select the correct primary fixed asset account for which these subaccounts will track the original cost and depreciation. Also, when creating the original cost subaccount for assets purchased after the start date, leave the original cost or balance and as of fields blank, as the value of these assets will come from the value of the transactions that you still need to enter, such as a loan you received or checks that you wrote to buy the fixed asset. When creating the accumulated depreciation subaccount, if you acquired the asset after the start date of your company file, once again leave the balance or depreciation field and the as of fields blank. As noted earlier, when creating a fixed asset account, you can select the track depreciation of this asset checkbox to automatically create the two necessary subaccounts. This will open up four more fields on the account page, the original cost and as of field set, and the depreciation and as of field set. For assets purchased before the company files start date, simply enter the original cost of the asset into the original cost field, and also enter the date that you purchased the asset into the as of field. In the depreciation field, you would enter the accumulated depreciation of the asset as of the date that you are entering it into the company file. 
in the as-of field associated with depreciation enter the date as of which the depreciation amount is considered current. If you manually created the subaccounts, you can enter the values for the original cost and depreciation subaccounts for assets purchased before the company file start date into the balance and as of fields when you're creating the subaccounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.